St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by the contribution from three donors. The first, an anonymous couple from Brampton, Ontario, in thanksgiving for blessings received, for the daily televised Mass, and for protection of their great-grandchildren. The second, an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario, in memory of her husband, for the living and deceased members of their families and friends, and in thanksgiving for favours received. The third is anonymous donor from Etobicoke, Ontario, in memory of her husband who died on January 2nd, 2007, in thanksgiving for favours received and for the living and deceased members of her family. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada, gathered for this celebration, we thank you. And we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mindful of our need for God, especially God's ongoing healing, mercy, forgiveness in our lives, we center on God's Spirit living within us. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, you inspired the work of your church with the example and teaching of your saints, Basil and Gregory. In humility, may we come to know your truth and put into action with faith and love what we learn. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in union with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. My little ones, who is the liar but the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Everyone who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. I write these things to you concerning those who would deceive you, as for you, the anointing that you receive from him abides in you, and so you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, so that when he is revealed, we may have confidence and may not be put to shame before him at his coming. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. This is the testimony given by John. When the Jewish leaders sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? John said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing, if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptized with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 